Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I wanted to show you this new grandfather clock that I got. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a Ridgeway, not sure the model though, but I believe this one was made in 1978, um, just by the works and the movement and everything. But um, why don't we go ahead and get into the review? So as you guys know, you saw my last video. I actually just got this clock probably a few days ago, yeah couple days ago that I got it and uh, I've been meaning to make a YouTube video since stuff would come up but I figured I'd start the video now so as you can see this is probably the most grandfather clock looking clock that I've gotten here uh, it's really nice it's got a working lunar calendar moon dial uh, the dial of the clock is actually bigger than my others as you can tell um, if you look at the other videos they're a little bit smaller but um this one's a nice size this is a ridgeway like i said um the hands are actually blocking where it would say ridgeway but you can see there on the dial um this clock is just absolutely beautiful i love the way it sounds and uh, the one thing i like about this clock is it's actually got a triple chime movement in it and i love that about it most of my clocks aren't triple chimes unless you've seen the mantle clock that i've got that's actually a triple chime so yeah that's pretty cool um as you can see on the top here, so we got some embellishments in the pediment. Uh, it's not an open pediment, but, you know, this is perfectly fine. I love this about the clock. Um, you don't see a lot of clocks with closed pediments anymore. So, but, uh, yeah, it's a three-weight movement. I'm sure you guys know how it works. This weight controls the chimes, this controls the time, and this controls the strike. So, um, yeah, that's about what I've got for the clock. So why don't we go ahead and listen to it chime? And we'll go ahead and go through all three of the chimes. Okay, so here we have Winchester, Whittington, and Westminster. So why don't we just start on Westminster and work our way up? All right, now for the top of the hour. Okay, so that was the one o'clock shine. Why don't we go ahead and move up to Whittington? Perfect. And we'll go ahead and go through this cycle. Now for the top of the hour, for Whittington. so that was Whittington and we'll go ahead and move our way up to Winchester now 
I'm sure a lot of people are going to wonder what Winchester is. It's just, it is a older style of chiming for these clocks. They didn't make a lot of them, but I'm sure you guys have seen a show called Charmed, and their clock in the background actually played this tune. So, now their clock had different chime rods because my clock's a little older than that one in the movie, or in the show. So, um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and listen to it? All right, now for the top of the hour. All right, and that was all the chimes. So I personally like um, Whittington and Winchester. I think Winchester is my favorite. Uh, that's actually the next selector that I'm going to choose for this coming up week. So I think I'm going to just leave it on there. But yeah, this is a really nice clock. Um, for those of you wondering, I did stop the pendulum just because I know when a, you move the minute hand with the pendulum running, it actually um, is hard on that gear in that... Um, crutch that the pendulum sits on so but uh yeah uh i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you do give it a thumbs up and uh leave a comment down below and i'll have answer any questions that you guys have about it if i can find out you know what model this is or if you guys know what model it is let me know i'm down to learn whatever i can about it so uh thank you guys so much for watching and um go ahead and shut the door and lock it hope you guys have a good rest of your day